Hey guys, welcome to Mrs. G's Sewing Space. My name is Mrs. G, my name is Emily. Um, I am not in my normal space vlogging today because unfortunately my family is in the pathway of Hurricane Florence. Now Hurricane Florence is a category four when it hit the beach. Uh, it was a category four hurricane and we had to evacuate because it hit Thursday evening. Um, we were planning to go to Atlanta anyways, and my husband convinced me, he's like, we are going to be in Atlanta anyways, just stay there. And so we packed up what we could last minute and headed to Atlanta. We had a doctor's appointment anyways in Atlanta for my son and, you know, just decided to stay with my in-laws. Thankfully, I have plenty of family here in Atlanta so that we were able to stay with them. And I am very grateful to my in-laws for allowing us to stay um, with me and my kids here with them while we wait for Hurricane Florence to, you know, pound North Carolina and South Carolina. And I think Atlanta is going to get a little bit of it as well. But, um, so hopefully all of that will fade away and our house will still be standing by the time we get back. We don't have to worry about anything major. I know there's a large worry about flooding, but I don't think we have that worry. I'm more worried about the wind and having trees blow and knock you know knock my roof in that's my biggest concern but we are planning to go back on Sunday if it's viable um, I'm hoping not to stay any later than Monday and that the roads will be cleared so that we can go back home and um, clean up the mess and continue on um, in the meantime while we're waiting for Hurricane Florence to figure out what it's going to do and which path it's going to take and you know, destroy whatever it destroys and get finished with its temper tantrum. I am going to upload a different video on Monday than scheduled just because I had footage in my um, in my editor and uh, it's going to be about the sewing machines that I have, what I do with them, and I'm going to be talking about them a bit. Um, I wasn't planning to put that out just yet. I was I wasn't particularly happy with the film that I took. Um, but I think I can work with it. I think I can do some editing and I don't know, I'll add some voiceovers or something to convey what I want to convey. Anyways, I've already started work on that. So the Simplicity 8030 bag that I have been working on, I will pick that up once I get back home and continue on with that process. Um, if, you know, if everything's still standing when we get home. Um, if not, it might be a while before I make videos again. I'll probably still do a regular vlog until I can get my situation under control again and start making videos again. So, with that being said, I hope that you guys have an awesome weekend. And I pray for all of those who are in the path of the hurricane that they'll be safe. And those who get stuck are rescued. And those who are prepared are willing to share their preparedness with those who are not. Um, this is a weird situation. I've been through hurricanes before, but never to this extent. They said it was supposed to be as bad as Hugo, and I never went through Hurricane Hugo, um, but apparently Hugo was pretty bad. And then I heard it was supposed to be as bad <clears throat> um, as Hurricane Hazel from 50 years ago. So, you know, didn't live through that one either. I'm not that old. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm hoping that, you know, everything will be well when we get home. I'm, I don't think we're in a place where we have to worry about floods. I'm more worried about trees hitting the roof of the house and doing damage that way. Um, so this is a definitely a weird situation and it certainly puts me in the mind of understanding those who are who have to evacuate at a last minute notice. Even though we were already planning to come to Atlanta, deciding to stay in Atlanta was still a last minute notice. So I wasn't able to pack everything that I would have probably normally packed had I been given enough time to plan it out appropriately. Because we were all packed for one night. And so we were gonna stay one night in Atlanta and then we were gonna come back and just ride out the storm. And then my husband convinced me to stay in Atlanta. He's like, you're gonna be there anyways. There's no point in coming back until everything's over. And so I'm like, I was running my kids. I'm like, can't you guys grab some more clothes, clean underwear, clean socks, make sure everything's clean. And excuse me, of course I hadn't done laundry. So half of the clothes that they chose were all dirty anyways. 
pardon me. And so I had to uh, tell my, you know, I'm like, grab the dirty clothes anyways. We'll just wash them when we get to Atlanta. And so that's not a big deal. As a matter of fact, I need to do a load of laundry when I get done with this. But um, it's, it's weird. I was telling my husband, I don't, I should be at home. I should be at home because it's our home. That's where I should be. But because of safety concerns, because of possible flooding and the wind and the damage, and my husband isn't here in the U.S. anyways, he's back in Singapore, he was really concerned. He's like, I don't want to get bad news while I'm here in Singapore. And I'm like, I understand that. I, and I'm like, I totally get that. So we came and stayed with the in-laws. But I feel so lost, I guess, just because, you know, I'm not at home. I don't, you know, my normal routine, the things that I do during the day, whether I'm doing laundry or cleaning the house or making videos for you guys, you know, I'm kind of at a loss. I can't do that here at my in-laws other than this nifty little vlog that I have right here and sharing that with you guys. So I'm trying to stay busy. I'm trying to, trying to keep things going and certainly keeping your mind off of what might be happening at your house. Um, and hopefully things will just work out. I mean, I don't tell you guys this to be a downer or anything like that or to be pessimistic, but it definitely gives me an insight to the people who have to rush, who get last minute warnings. Like it reminds me of the people who are evacuated out of evacuated out of California when the wildfires got too close to their house. I'm like, you guys got to pick up and go. And when you're given a choice to pick up and go, what do you take? You know, I have so many mementos and memories at home and things that we associate with our regular daily lives. I mean, not just my sewing machines, though those were a big concern too, not just my sewing machines, but you know, memories, blankets, clothing, toys for the kids, you know, things that I still have when I was a kid, you know, that are, you just have to leave behind. You have to, uh, have to, because you can't take it. You just don't have the room. And, then you have a possibility of a fire coming down and wiping out your property or a flood de um, destroying your house or destroying your property or, you know, anything like that. And it's it was one of those weird, weird things. And I'm trying to run through the house because I'm trying to get to Atlanta at a decent hour because we have our doctor's appointment. But knowing that I'm not going to come back for a while, you know, what do you take? I'm... I'm going on the hope and I'm assuming that my house is going to be perfectly fine. We'll probably get some rain and if there's any damage, it might be a little wind damage. So I'm praying and I'm hoping that we'll be blessed that our, our house will still be standing and everything else. But when it comes right down to it, what's the most important thing? The lives of my children, the lives, the life of me, my husband certainly would appreciate the fact that we are still alive because everything else can be replaced and you still have all your memories so you can't argue with that my children are safe I'm safe and my husband is safe even though he's in Singapore right now so so I'm gonna go ahead in this blog and me and my mother-in-law we're about to go to a local church and do some charity work um, a group has gotten together to pack some like survival bags I think or kits to pass out to flood victims and so we're gonna go pack bags and that's certainly something to help me keep my mind occupied and and keep me busy for a while until I come back and then I'll finish um, editing my videos so anyways that's what's going on with me no Halloween costumes I still haven't done um, Halloween costumes big plans big plans are starting to shrink so once I get situated again, we'll start working on the on the big plans again. I still know what I want to do. I just, you know, haven't done any of it. So let's see what happens with those Halloween costumes. I still have a month, what, a month and a half? I got a month and a half to start pulling magic out of my hat and see how it goes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. I try not to be too depressing or anything like that. It is what it is. We'll live through it. We'll continue on, continuing on and surviving. That's what we do. So, um, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next video. It's going to be about all my sewing machines. I'm going to try to make it as entertaining as possible. And if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the information that you get with me. Always share, share, share. And uh, just, you know, throw some comments down below. Let's have a conversation, whether it's about Hurricane Florence, whether it's about my sewing machines, whether it's about whatever. Whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm all willing to chit-chat for. So I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope that you're staying safe and I will see you on Monday in the sewing machine video. 
and I'll see you guys later. Bye.